on today's video, I'm going to be talking about wheel spacers, which ones do get and which ones don't get. Um, I made a mistake when I bought my last wheel spacers. They were for a Ford Ranger that had a bigger hub, our centering hub size. So now when I drive the car anywhere past 45 miles an hour, it just shakes. I tried turning the steering wheel, tried everything else. Um, I did some research. If you don't buy the centering rings or it's off center, it will give you a vibration. I'm not 100% the logic behind it or anything. So I went ahead and ordered these new aluminum wheel spacers that have the same bore size as the hubs on the Mustang. So go ahead and do like a little review of what you should buy and what you shouldn't buy. So with that, let's get into it, open this up, and I'll show you guys the difference. So if you guys can see here, these are the sling rings. They are seven and a half bore. So hopefully everything fits a little bit better. The only thing I'm worried about is the rims right now. So I'll go ahead, pull the rims off, make sure they fit right. So right now, I'll show you guys a time lapse of taking the wheel off, taking the old spacer off, and then I'll take it back over to the table to show you the difference of what I'm talking about. So, okay guys, here's the wheel spacer off the car, and here's the new one. As you can see, the difference between the one that has the centering ring and the one that doesn't. I do know I need to get the adapter for this piece for the rim. I don't know where it ended up, but this fits so much better that I put it on the car and pressed it on a little bit, make sure it fat, uh, fit right, and... I'll show you real quick. That fits so much better. As you can see, there's no lug nuts on it, but it's still pressed on there pretty good. So that's one issue of taking care of with the car. But um, it's late at night, trying to explain it's the best camera. I'm a little tired. I spent all day at Import Nationals at Carlisle again. Um, go ahead, take these lug nuts off and show you the difference in the hub sizes. Kind of explained it to you a little bit more. So as you guys can see the difference, this would bounce around. Even with the lug nuts tight, it would still shift here and there. But now at this one, it's a lot better. Um, if you guys want to know where I got it from, the link will be in the bio. Go ahead, put the car back together. And so when you guys do order wheel spacers, make sure you get the right hub, or at least the centering adapter for them. It makes it a lot easier. Um, I don't like one wheel spacers, but just until I get a set of rims that have the right offset, because trust me, no one wants to be running two and a half inch wheel space, or two inch wheel spacers on front um, hub assemblies. It's awful for the car. I'm only doing it because the car mostly gets trailered. I'm going to use the shows right now from this 30 minutes away just because 
it's just got done, finished, dynoed and everything. But make sure you subscribe, like, and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. The same username. Any questions, DM me on Instagram. Thank you guys.